StadiumDB.com presents World Cup 2030 Stadiums Spain, Portugal, Morocco, Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay Hello! We finally know which countries will host the 2030 World Cup. Although we have already shown you the bit of Spain, Portugal and Morocco, as it turns out, the start of the tournament will see South America. So now we have six countries from three different continents, for the first time in history. Check out all the stadiums that will host the 2030 World Cup, but we will start our journey from where the tournament begins, Uruguay. Let's see three venues from South America before we move on to the main part. Estadio Centenario, capacity 80,000, Montevideo. The construction of the stadium started in 1929 following Uruguay being awarded the rights to host the Premier World Cup in 1930. The Uruguayan government showed a rendering of the modernized stadium. FIFA president Gianni Infantino said, the first of these three matches in South America will of course be played at the stadium where it all began, in Montevideo's mythical Estadio Centenario precisely to celebrate the centenary edition of FIFA World Cup. Estadio Monumental, capacity 84,567, Buenos Aires. It was opened on May 26, 1938 and named after former club president Antonio Vespuccio Liberti. It is the largest stadium in both Argentina and all of South America and is also home of the Argentina national football team. The main idea behind the redevelopment of Monumental is to remove the running truck, lower the pitch and build, in place of the dismantled truck, a new lower level of stands, closest to the playing field. As a result of the redevelopment, the pitch will be lowered by 1.8 meters, in the comparison to the previous one. Estadio Conmebol Capacity 60,000 Asuncion Conmebol is going to build a stadium with a capacity for 45,000 people, expandable to 60,000 in Asuncion, as announced by the organization at the annual congress held in the Paraguayan city of Luque. A precise location for construction still remains to be determined, but there is already a budget forecast that will be around $50 million for the first year of work. Now we take a closer look at Europe. Three stadiums from Portugal are certain to participate in the tournament and max 11 of the 15 Spanish venues will be selected. Estadio José Alvalade 21 Capacity 50,095 Lisbon The country's picturesque capital has two beautiful venues that were built on the occasion of Euro 2004. The first one is used on a daily basis by Sporting's footballers Portuguese architect Tomás Taveira, known for his exceptionally bright visions, is responsible for the design. In addition to the impressive size of the 2 tier auditorium, the arena has extensive facilities underneath the stands. Estadio da Luz, capacity 64,642, Lisbon. The other stadium from the Portuguese capital hosts none other than Sporting's arch-rival Benfica. The locals call the stadium a catedra, and it is hard to deny that, as the arena is truly monumental. The 60-seater has hosted the final of the aforementioned European Championships and two Champions League finals. Estadio do Dragão, capacity 50,033. Porto. Like the previous two, this venue was also built on the occasion of the Portuguese Euros and there is no doubt that all arenas share quite a few features. The Dragons Stadium has the main pitch below ground level, which is flanked by two tier stands along the pitch and single level ones behind the goals, so that from the auditorium we can see the nearby buildings. Abanca Balaidos Capacity 31,100 Vigo The venue in Galicia is undergoing a major redevelopment. Its concept has been named the New Wave. 
and involves leveling the heights of all the stands to give the facility a uniform feel. The stadium is to be entirely covered with aluminium cladding in the form of wavy segments. Estadio de Riazor, capacity 48,000, La Coruña. The planned expansion of the stadium allowed La Coronato to join the bid to host the World Cup. Estadio de Riazor has already had the opportunity to host World Cup matches once before, in 1982, at which time it hosted three group stage matches. The modernization should also benefit the club Deportivo La Coruña. Estadio El Molinón, capacity 29,538, Gijón. We are still on the coast, although already in Asturias. The arena's original name comes from the mill that stood where the stadium is today. The 2009-11 redevelopment gave the venue a modern feel, with the north stand receiving an upper level. San Mames Barria, capacity 53,331, Bilbao. We start in the Basque country. The stadium here is a real visual marvel. Its most distinctive feature is its facade, made up of thousands of white ribs. Each one is curved so that the panels do not adhere tightly, but allow for light and ventilation. Estadio Anueta, capacity 40,000, San Sebastian. We remain on the Bay of Biscay. The stadium in San Sebastian owes its current appearance to the 2017-19 redevelopment and no longer resembles the old Anueta at all. The arena's roof and facade are covered with an ETFE membrane. Nueva Romareda, capacity 42,500, Saragossa. The concept developed by IDEM calls for a completely new stadium to replace the existing La Romareda. The facility is to have a football-specific layout and will accommodate 42,500 spectators. The stands will surround the pitch on all sides and will be divided into two tiers, with additional narrow tiers along the pitch. Estadi Cornela El Prat, capacity 40,000, Barcelona. Time for a visit to Catalonia. Espanyol's stadium opened almost 14 years ago, but it still looks very modern. Its advancement is not only manifested in its appearance, but also in the solutions used there to make the stadium environmentally friendly. Camp Nou, capacity 105,053, Barcelona. As the stadium is set to grow to 105,000, sitting layout will change noticeably and along with it, so will all access routes. The defining aesthetic feature are three ceiling for each promenade, slanted and highly visible from pedestrian perspective. Niken Seke and Pascual y Aucio created a simple, subtle and timeless space that will utilize natural ventilation and shading to provide comfort to spectators in this Mediterranean venue. Will Camp Nou be the final venue? No Mestalla, capacity 70,000. Valencia. We are heading south along the Mediterranean coast. Valencia's new venue has been in the making for more than 15 years now, but it looks like work has finally picked up. Then Huevo Mestalla was expected to house 70,000 fans, but the new agreement could reduce that to 66,000, with the option to renovate it or increase the capacity. Estadio Nueva Condomina, capacity 31,179, Murcia. The stadium in the city known as the Europe's Orchard was officially opened in October 2006. The arena was potentially due to host the world's best footballers in 2018, and there were plans at the time to expand it to 43,000 capacity. But the Iberian country's bid fell through. Estadio La Rosaleda, capacity 45,000, Malaga. La Rosaleda will need to see big changes if it's to become a venue for the tournament. It currently has space for 30,000 spectators 
and can increase its capacity by at least 10,000. But to stay in line with FIFA's requirements, it would need to reach 45,000 seats. The other difficulty Malaga might face is the need to have at least 5,000 car park spaces around the ground. Estadio La Cartuja Capacity 60,721 Seville We move to Andalusia. Seville's La Cartuja was built to be the main arena for the 2004 Olympic Games. The huge, one of the largest stadium in Spain, still has no permanent user. It hosted several Euro matches in 2021. Estadio Metropolitano Capacity 70,460 Madrid we head to the capital, where two stadiums are in contention for the right to host the World Cup. The first of those is the home of Atletico. The most remarkable part of the stadium and its trademark is the roof. This masterpiece of engineering and architecture combines functionality with design. It is curiously shaped on all sides, creating a rippling impression on the outside while impressing with its harmony and rhythm on the inside. Estadio Santiago Bernabéu Capacity 84,744 Madrid Estadio Santiago Bernabéu is a candidate to host a World Cup final. This has already been reported by several newspapers and it seems that it will not only be the most modern stadium of the tournament, but also in the whole world. Florentino Perez wants to get as much as possible from the redevelopment of the Bernabeu and the World Cup will be a great opportunity to do so. Also, Madrid has the city itself and capital of the country, where the largest number of matches will be played, seems a reasonable choice for the venue of the final. Estadio de Gran Canaria Capacity 44,462 Las Palmas the plan is to extend the northern arch, Grada Naciente, so that it is level with the rest of the auditorium. The stands will then form a compact and closed oval around the pitch. An additional low-rise spectator ring will then be added at the top. Crossing Gibraltar and landing in Africa, Morocco, where other venues are waiting to be discovered. Adrar Stadium Capacity 46,048 Agadir The city is located on the edge of the mountain range, so the terrain here changes dynamically and the stadium was designed to resemble the surrounding hills. Earth embankments are covered with the stone steps, blending the stadium into the landscape and giving it an interesting geometry through the stepped facades. The planned redevelopment involves fitting the arena with an interesting roof supported by slender masts. Grand Start de Marrakesh, capacity 69,565, Marrakesh. The venue was built about 11 kilometers from the city center, and it must be said that it is extremely distinctive. In the desert landscape, it looks like a fortress, not coincidentally. Its appearance is intended to be reminiscent of fortifications on the one hand and of local architecture on the other. Ahead of the World Cup, the arena is set to undergo a major expansion, which will increase its capacity by almost 25,000 seats. Grand Start de Casablanca Capacity 93,000 Casablanca Moroccans wanted this planned giant to host the opening match and the final. The reality will probably be brutal, but the stadium would become one of the largest on the continent. The final concept is not yet known. Prince Moulay Abdallah Stadium Capacity 69,500 Rabat The old stadium has been completely demolished and the construction of the new facility is to be completed with the delivery of a beautiful arena. The stadium that stood on the site was Rabat's largest venue. It was also proposed to hold 2006 and 2010 World Cup games, when Morocco attempted to become the first ever African hosts. 
Fez Stadium, capacity 46,092, Fez. The stadium in Morocco's third largest city was officially opened in 2007, although construction had begun back in 1994 and had taken nine years. The facility has an athletics truck and its most striking feature are four slanted concrete floodlight towers. As part of the upgrade, the stadium is to gain a canopy that will cover most of the stands. Ibn Battuta Stadium Capacity 88,000 Tangier The stadium was inaugurated in 2011 after nine years of construction and was already labeled outdated when it opened. Between 2020 and 2023, the sectors on the edges were expanded to equal the height of those along the pitch. The modernization increased the capacity of the stadium up to 20,000. The stadium is undergoing a modernization that will make the arena even bigger than it was expected some time ago. The arena will be fully enclosed. And with that, we have reached the end of our presentation in which we covered all stadiums that will host the 2030 World Cup. Make sure to have your say in the comments whether you like the fact that the World Cup will be hosted in these countries or not. Also, click on the bell, because that way you won't miss our next content, which is already in the pipeline. Thanks and see you soon!